Hi guys, Dr. Heimlich DC here, and today we're going to be talking about the brain function and how it relates to the thyroid. What the heck does the brain have to do with the thyroid anyway? Hypothyroidism. Well, in a word, everything. The brain is called the master organ. Why? Because it has control over every single cell in the body. It connects to every single one of them. It controls our organs, our tissues, our systems, the entire autonomic system, uh, which is composed of the sympathetic and parasympathetic. What does all that mean? Basically, that's the systems that goes and controls digestion, and controls the things that automatically occur in our body when we don't have to think about it. Breathing, heart rate, uh, gastrointestinal stuff as well. Now, the brain is as strong as it is complex and fragile. Now, for the brain to work well, it needs to be in a balanced state. In such a state, either the sympathetic or the parasympathetic nervous system um, is over controlled or dominant and we have this nice harmony and balance. Now we have left hemispheres and right hemispheres of the brain function and it has to function in tandem between side to side. We've got various lobes on each side of the brain and they're all intended to be naturally balanced as well. So that way the activities within them can produce a harmonious body. And you can't have an optimally functioning body without an optimally functioning brain. Just can't do it. Now, there's a part of your brain called the hypothalamus. This part drives the pituitary. And your pituitary directly goes down to your thyroid and tells it what to do and how much to release. This means if your brain's not sending the right signals down to the thyroid, it's not going to work right you're going to be off. You're going to have all types of problems even if you're taking thyroid supplements. Now, as I mentioned above, the brain is also connected to all the rest of the parts of the body, all the different organs and cells. And we've talked a lot about how different ones contribute to the function of the thyroid. Now, how do you know if you're suffering or, or that your brain isn't functioning correctly, you know, or optimally, I should say? One of the best ways is to have your brain function checked out by a qualified doctor who understands functional neurology. Okay, a functional neurological examination is going to help determine whether your brain is functioning at its highest capacity. You don't have to have a brain tumor or a stroke or anything to not have it working correctly. Okay, that's an important thing to understand. So, how can you fix your brain if you do have this? Well, there's something called brain based therapy. It's a safe, gentle, hands on, dynamic integration process used to reboot, reconnect, and restore proper brain function. Now, some people want to know, hey, what health problems can I have with it? Understand that brain-based therapy isn't a specific treatment for any disease, illness, or disorder itself. Uh, we, don't, we don't try to cure anything with it. I can still hear one of my uh, old instructors, uh, Dr. Hawkinson, back at uh, chiropractic school saying, uh, you don't cure anything. The only thing you can cure is bacon and ham. You don't cure any person. The body heals itself. You're just there to find out how to facilitate that process. So to answer the question, pretty much any process or system that goes on in the body, if the brain's not functioning correctly, it's going to help get it functioning to optimal. Same with the thyroid. Same with all the different pituitary, hypothalamus, and all the other different liver and organs and glands that contribute to thyroid health. And we see people every day in here who have what's called a functional disconnection syndrome, where the brain isn't quite functioning the way it should. And they have no idea this is going on until we do a thorough neurological examination on them, a functional neurological examination. So the take-home point to this is the brain has a direct as well as an indirect connection with the thyroid. And if you have thyroid symptoms, hypothyroid symptoms, and you're not having someone take a look at the whole picture, your brain, your functional blood tests, all that stuff, then you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. You need to find someone who understands this information. If you'd like to be a, a patient in our practice or you'd like more information, you can click on the new patient tab above. Um, you can also give us a call at 480-991-9355, and we'd be happy to help you out. I'm Dr. Halleck. Thank you for listening.